What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today, we're trying on some stuff from Uniqlo. Uniqlo, or Uniqlo, has to be the most requested brand uh, that I get emails from you guys, comments below the videos, everybody's saying, try on Uniqlo. So you probably know Uniqlo is a Japanese company, they're incredibly popular. Um, very affordable brands, but generally uh, the quality is considered uh, pretty high for the price and uh, their clothes tend to fit pretty well. Now, just because it's a Japanese brand doesn't mean that their clothes fit the shorter man because they have their own sizing system you know, for US customers. So, But their stuff does tend to fit pretty well and it's pretty on trend and affordable and stylish. Uh, I ordered a selection of things from them. We'll switch angles, open up the box, and then we'll try everything on and see if it fits. All right, let's open this up. This is a pretty mangled box, but that's okay. Packing slip, the return label, that's a nice touch when they include that for you. Okay, so we've got these Aerism boxer briefs. Try those on, although probably not on camera. Also from their Aerism line, uh, extra small crew neck t-shirt, some dark gray crew neck sweatshirt. Skinny chino flat front, uh, size 28. Padded jacket, size extra small. Uh, this is a V-neck merino wool sweater. Extra small crew neck long sleeve sweater in light gray. These are some jeans, skinny fit tapered, size 28. Crew neck long sleeve t-shirt in a kind of a brown color, size extra small. That's just a basic crew neck t-shirt. Got some more jeans. These are skinny fit tapered jeans, ultra stretch. Merino wool cardigan. Pair of gloves, size medium. Crew neck sweatshirt, extra small. Green flannel button up shirt. And a padded jacket in navy. Let's try this stuff on. Okay, so first up we have their stretch skinny fit jeans in olive. These are 28 waist and 34 inch inseams, which unfortunately most of their pants come with 34 inch inseams. If you buy them in the store, I believe they'll hem them for free. If you order them online, obviously you have to get them hemmed yourself. Otherwise, they fit really well. I like the silhouette, nice and tapered, but not like skin tight. They are kind of low rise, but um, otherwise, you know, they, they do fit pretty well. And they're very stretchy and very comfy. This is their flannel long sleeve button up shirt, also in an olive color, size extra small. And you can see this one's too big all around. The shoulder seams are kind of hanging off my shoulders. Sleeves are too long. Torso is a bit long to be worn untucked. And this is too bad because I have an extra small button up shirt from Uniqlo from a few years ago that fits a lot better than this. So their patterns and sizing does change, you know, over the years. Okay, now I'm wearing their ultra stretch skinny chino in beige. Uh, again, 28 inch waist, 34 inch inseam. And even though this is called a uh, skinny chino, it has more of a straight cut than the skinny jeans. And as you can see, it's just a little fuller through the leg. It is very, very stretchy and very comfortable, but uh, a little more of a full silhouette than I would like. I'd like a little more taper, especially from the knee down. Here's a pair of their ultra stretch skinny fit jeans in white. Again, 28 inch waist, 34 inch inseam. Uh, unlike the olive jeans, these are the ultra stretch. So, so supposedly these have more four-way stretch than the olive jeans. Uh, the fit is pretty similar. I'd say these are maybe slightly closer to the chinos and that they're not quite as tapered as the olive skinny fit jeans. I probably wouldn't wear these just because I don't really wear white jeans, uh, but these are very comfortable. So if you do like white jeans, these might be a good choice for you. Okay, this is the extra fine merino turtleneck in navy. It's an extra small. And you know, I don't have any turtleneck or roll neck sweaters, so I figured I'd try this one on. And it actually fits uh, really well. Uh, the sleeves are pretty good length. It's nice and slim fit, very, very comfortable. And the neck isn't obnoxiously thick or anything. And it has a nice roll to it. So yeah, actually this is something I would hang on to. This is called the active crew neck long sleeve shirt it's kind of like a sweatshirt but uh, it's a little different than your standard crew neck sweatshirt because it doesn't have the elastic uh, hem and it's got some little details like the the side panels 
and the curved hem. Nice basic gray color, no branding, and it fits pretty well. You know, the sleeves are a little bit long, which is usually the case with sweatshirts. You could definitely either just roll them up or cuff them, or you could get them hemmed. I do like the hem. I like that it doesn't have the elastic band, and I like how it has a slight curve to it. The length is actually pretty good too, so yeah, this is a nice sweatshirt. Okay, this t-shirt is their Supima Cotton crew neck shirt. It's their basic t-shirt line, uh, very comfortable. Uh, they sell a lot of these t-shirts. It's a size extra small, dark gray color, and it's a tiny bit big for me, but I'm gonna hold on to this one. You know, it was like $10, and I'm gonna see if it shrinks down a little bit through a wash dry cycle. And if it does, it might fit really, really well. So yeah, I'll keep you updated on that one. This is a cardigan, it's the extra fine merino v-neck cardigan in dark gray size extra small the fabric feels great it's very very soft very comfortable the fit is okay to be honest i never have luck with this style of cardigan for some reason with my build i just seem to look better in the chunky uh shawl neck cardigans um but this you know it doesn't fit horribly or anything uh the sleeves are a little full for my taste they're maybe a tiny bit too long but then again you'd probably wear this you know, maybe over a button-up shirt or something, which would help fill out those sleeves a little bit. So I think this is probably a good choice for most guys. I'm not gonna keep it because I feel like it's just not that flattering on my specific body type. This is kind of a cool jacket. It's their Block Tech Parka in navy, extra small. Uh, honestly, it feels more like a raincoat, uh, very water repellent, uh, but very lightweight at the same time. Um, definitely a nice jacket. Uh, it's got the uh, Velcro cinches on the end of the sleeve, so they are a little bit long, but you can kind of tighten them up so they don't fall past your wrist. It's got a hood, which is very functional because this does, to me, feel like a rain jacket. Um, and it's, you know, it's a decent length, maybe a tiny bit too long for my taste, but in general, this jacket does fit pretty well. Speaking of jackets, here's the padded stand jacket. A black color, size extra small. This is definitely a heavier, more insulated jacket. Uh, it's also fuller cut, almost like a, a bomber cut. You can see that the sleeves are pretty full. Uh, it's very, very warm. Uh, definitely room for layering underneath. I don't know that this jacket really fits into my wardrobe, uh, but it, you know, it fits okay, uh, especially if you're a little heavier than me. And it's definitely warm and feels pretty durable. So, okay, this is the dry stretch sweatshirt dark gray size extra small uh, it does feel uh, slightly different than like cotton it feels almost more like a, like an under armor sweatshirt where it has a synthetic feel um, i like the color uh, you know it, it's a little big on me you can just see it kind of makes the upper half of my body look a little too bulky and you know compared to for example the crew neck sweatshirt i just picked up from raining champ uh, i don't really love the fit of this one here's their soft touch crew neck long sleeve shirt uh, it's in kind of like a mustard brown color, size extra small. This is very, very soft. It's super comfortable and uh, it is cotton. So, you know, it probably would shrink a little bit in the dryer. Uh, but yeah, this is a very nice shirt. And you know, it's it's tough to find long sleeve t-shirts that uh, have sleeves that are the right length, you know, and then have the torso that's the right length. So I think after a wash dry cycle, this pro would probably fit pretty well. It's a pretty affordable shirt at about $15. So yeah, definitely a decent choice. Okay, here's another crew neck t-shirt from them. It's not from the Supima cotton line. Instead, this is called the Package Dry Crew Neck Shirt. Definitely has a different feel than the Supima cotton shirt. It's also $6, you know, so it's pretty cheap. It's a cotton poly blend and it, it definitely feels, you know, lower quality. I'd say this is more in line, you know, with what you'd expect from like H&M or Forever 21 or something like that. But, you know, for six bucks, um, it's a decent shirt. It definitely fits well. If you're on a budget, this is a great choice if you need to stock up on a few basic solid crew neck t-shirts. This is a light gray t-shirt from their Airism line. It's an extra small, and I believe this is meant to be worn as an undershirt because it is very, very thin, super comfortable. Um, and you know, for $10, I think this would make a great undershirt. Uh, I'm pretty sure they also have a V-neck version, which I would prefer if I was gonna wear this as an undershirt, but it is very comfortable. And for the record, I did also try their Airism boxer briefs for $10. 
also very, very comfortable, right up there with, you know, some of the higher end underwear brands. Okay, and then finally wanted to try a pair of their gloves. I just saw these heat technated gloves with the uh, smartphone fingertips for $15. They had a medium and a large. So, you know, any company that offers different size gloves, I'm willing to check out. Um, so I got the medium and, you know, I like the way they look. They're comfortable, they definitely feel warm. But to be honest, um, I probably need a size small, which they don't make, because um, they're just a little bit big. They have a little bit of extra space in the fingertips, which you know would make it hard to use a phone or zip up your coat or anything like that. So um, I probably want these to be slightly smaller or maybe even look at like cadet sizing, which has shorter fingers. So, you know, these are nice, probably if you have more average size hands, but for me, it's a pass. And that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this Uniqlo haul and try on. Uh, definitely a cool brand. You know, if you haven't tried it out yet, I think you should. Uh, their stuff is very high quality for the price. It's insanely affordable for what you're getting. And it does tend to fit a little better than some of the other major brands. But, you know, don't be fooled into thinking that just because it's a Japanese brand, it's going to fit the shorter man perfectly. That's just not the case. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions about anything I tried on. Feel free to ask. And until next time, Stay stylish.